Hedgehogs, welcome to today's maths. I hope you've enjoyed your number hunt. I managed to find all the numbers and get them in the right order. Today we're going to explore what happens if we add one or take one away from a group of objects. So I'm going to have a go building some towers and we'll see what happens if I add one or if I take one away to my towers. So I'm going to roll the dice, see what number I land on and then I'm going to build a tower with that many in it to start with. So let's roll my dice. Ooh, I've landed on a one, so I'm going to build a tower of one. What will happen if I add one more to my tower? Let's find out. Let's add another one. How many have I got now? I've got two, haven't I? I've got another one. One and one makes two. Okay, let's choose a new number. Ah, oh, the number three. One, two, three. So let me make my tower of three. One, two, three. What will happen if I add another one to my tower? If I've got three already and I add another one to my tower, how many will I have then? Let's find out. Three. Four. One, two, three, four. I've got another one. One more than three is four, isn't it? Okay, let's have another roll of the dice. Ooh, two. Okay, so I'm going to take some away from my tower. So now I've got a tower of two. One, two. What will happen if I take one away from my tower of two? Let's find out. Let's take one away. Add two, take one away, and I'm left with just one. When we take away, the number gets smaller, doesn't it? When we add more, the number gets bigger. Let's have a go at doing one more together. Four. Okay, so I'll build a tower of four. One. Two, three, four. If I take one away from my tower of four, how many will I have left? Let's find out. Let's take one away. One, two, three. I'd have three, wouldn't I? Three is one less than four. If I add my one back, now I've got four again. What will happen if I add another one to my tower of four? How many will I have then? I will have five, won't I? Four and one more makes five. Okay, now it's your turn to have a go at adding one or taking one away. So you will need something to build some towers with. So have a look around your house and find something that you can build towers with. Press pause on the video while you do that and then come back and I've got some maths challenges for you to try. Okay, welcome back. I hope you found lots of things to build some towers with. Lego, building blocks are really good, aren't they, to build towers with. So I'm going to put a number on the screen and you have got to, first of all, build a tower with that many in it to match my number. Are you ready? Can you build a tower of... Eight. Have a go at building a tower of eight. Well done, okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, okay,
can you find out what happens if you take one away from your tower of eight? How many are you left with? Well done. If we take one away from eight, we are left with seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Fantastic. Okay, let's change the number. Can you have a go at making a tower of... Let's choose our number of the week, a tower of nine. Have a go at making a tower of nine for me. Okay, well done for making your tower of nine. I've made mine. Now let's see what happens if you add one more to your tower of nine. How many do you have then? Okay, I've had to add mine next to it because my tower is too tall for the screen. If you add one more to your tower of nine, you get... That's right, you get ten, don't you? Well done. Okay, let's have a go at one more together. Can you have a go at making a tower of seven for me? A tower of seven. Okay, I've made my tower of seven. What happens if you take one away from your tower of seven? How many are you left with? That's right, if you take one away from your tower of seven, you are left with six, aren't you? Okay, add one more to make your tower of seven again. What happens if you add another one to your tower of seven? How many do you have then? Right, if you add one more to your Tower of Seven, you have eight. Fantastic maths work. If we add one, the number gets bigger by one. It's the next number when we're counting forwards. And if we take one away, the number gets smaller by one. It's the number down when we're counting backwards, isn't it? Fantastic maths work today, hedgehogs. Well done for working so hard. Bye-bye.